afternoon good evening good night or good morning depending on where in the world you guys are watching this show hey keith what are we doing on today's show well today i'm very hopeful that people are going to enjoy the show nice one this should be an all-round winner for viewers <laughs> i see what you did there but before that there's this Here we are again. The puns had a nice ring to them. Oh, dear. Right. We don't want to circle around the subject, so we're going to get straight to I think it. I've got some tumbleweed here. No, well, the thing is, is that... Who knows what it could be, because we can't hear. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you tell us what it is. Oh, like our hoops, they're going to be organically growing on you. Um, this is the first part of a two-part special. Mm -hmm. This one is all about oh, organic... <laughs> All about organic hoops. I'm thinking about hoops, not me magic. <laughs> yes. Um, and this particular part is going to concentrate on the smaller ones, the ones that are approximately one meter wide, or if you're an imperial, three feet. It's a great way to practice on the smaller one first. So if you decide, ah, you know what I want to do? I want to do the large scale one. It's great because techniques are similar, but the practice and everything's been done yes. on the smaller. So for space and for product, it's a great way to have a go. It's also because, it, for the smaller venues and you oh, know, yeah. above a table display and things. It's um, it's, it's a, coordinated it's a great... LinkedIn designs as well. There's lots of crossovers, which is great. Um, but also, it's it's a really good way to kind of have a bit of fun with it. And you know, we enjoy these and the fact that we can be creative and try different styles out without taking over the studio like we did on that Quickling build day. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so part two is actually going to be doing the bigger displays the two and a half meter one so we're going to practice with these ones yes. and then we're going to move on to it so what we need to do is we need to get straight over to the workshop and get i've, on I've got you this. a new timing okay i'm going to get ready i'll follow my running shoes on. I'll, I'll follow because i want to make sure our microphones come on but <laughs> i'm going to let you see if you can get across before whoever it is tells us about q corner okay here we are go. you ready three two one go. hi i'm nicole greg hi I'm Chris Adamo. Hi, I'm Tina Junter, and you're watching Q Corner. And you're watching Q Corner. And you're watching Q Corner. No fair. You got the long one there. Yeah, also as well as that the camera's in the wrong place. Oh, no, it's over there. Yeah, it's kind of giving away what we're doing. Well, it's also the picture on the... Um... That's besides the point. <laughs> but we'll, uh, can we go over to the other side, please? I'd like to say we can, but it's not letting me just yet. Right. Here it's having go. a moment. Try there we go. Try that. Oh, yeah. I'm back over here. It's technology great. It's right. super smashing. Uh, right. Yes. So I could have a saunter. As soon as I saw that it was the, our Australian friends on there, um, I thought I could have a saunter over rather than uh, having to rush over. Um, because we had a lot more time to walk over. So I don't know. I got the wrong one there. It's on a randomizer, but I need to fix that. Let me just check before we go on. I need to make sure that we can uh, move our camera around to where we need it to. Oh, yeah. that zoomed in the touch. That's just yeah, that's right. Great. Yeah, and then and zoomed there. in. <gasps> Lovely. Look. And then back to where we are. Great. Okay, we're working. Are we're we? good. We're golden. Happy with that. <clears throat> right, okay, so on today's show, we are going to be talking about the organics hoops, and we're going to be using a hula hoop. No hula hoop demos from us today. <laughs> Other than putting balloons onto one. Exactly. Yeah, that's what But counts. no actual 
hula hoopy. So right. this was all jazzy and sparkly, wasn't it? It was. It also rattled. Keith. Yes, it had beads inside of it. Yes. Um, so we've resolved that situation. It just you, the, it's normally with a like a, a jazzy tape that's been yeah, put on. Holographic it's wrapped tape. around at a forty five degree angle. We unwrap that a little bit and you can pull it apart really easily mm -hmm. and take those beads out because you don't want organic rattling design. Yes. You want organic, beautiful design. So the other thing as well is that these do just pop apart, push back together again, um, and the, which actually makes it great for storage because you can pop them apart and you can store them. You can also amend the size as well yeah. if you want. Add you another one on. Yeah, add another. You, you use it as structure and framework. It has got the, that curve in, which is very hard to get out. However, if you want to make it smaller or specific dimensions, it's totally possible. Yeah. We've never needed to because you can buy them in different degrees of sizes anyway, mm -hmm. so we've never felt the need to, but, but you could. You could, and um, what we've done with this one is that because this is a nice white colour on the inside, we haven't felt the need to recover it. The only thing that we've done is we put a piece of 260 over the join um, to make sure that it doesn't come apart. But and you've done that in silver so you can see it, yes. otherwise you'd think it would have been lying. done in white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it is, you can see it in silver. This is actually a smaller hoop, yes. and this one was a grey hoop so that wasn't good for the a design that we're doing with this one uh, not today show this is a one actually for a customer um but we've wrapped it in the pink um, so it's really good in the fact that we can color code this to whatever we want the other However, thing as well wide, it's great you can see that they come in different sizes so we have different sizes depending on what the design we're doing um this one is a 33 inch hoop um, and I can't remember what that, the, the size is on that one. Lots of different places to sell these. Yeah. You can buy them online, but you can also find them in lots of local retailers. And quite often coming to the end of summer is a good time to buy them because a lot of people have them on as a special yeah. because they clear them out off their shop floor um, because they don't tend to sell so many hula hoops. In the in UK the at least. Yeah. yeah. Um, but easy enough to pick up. And they all seem to be very much of a standard, the light on. standard size. Yeah, oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Hula hoop. But we don't need that one. Hula hoop. So we have our hula hoop, so we need some balloons. We do. Um, we've got some that we're going to just demonstrate with here. We need some some balloons for the demonstration, and we also need some Dacron line. Um, I'm going to use a size I've got a this pair one, right? of scissors. Oh, that means I'll need a... Uh, I'm going to use a hand pump for this. Because we're already doing a few. Yes. So we'll just do a little bit of inflation. So we're going to use um, the two sizes that for our hoop are three and a half inches and four and a half inches. Correct. I am right. Excellent. So we're going to be doing two sets of uh, clusters here. A four balloon cluster yeah. and a three balloon cluster. Okay, I'll do the four balloon cluster You're going to do the four balloon cluster first. So the four so balloon I'm cluster... I'm going to slightly overinflate. I'm going to get it just... Just get a random series of uh, colours of balloons, which these ones are chrome because... It's all about the chrome. All about the chrome. The chrome. So we're doing the fours, yeah. clusters of four balloons to four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. That goes through there and... I'm making it awkward for him so you can I know see you, it as well. I you definitely. I can make so... it more awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't. Okay. So, perfect. And then... Perfect. So that's gold and purple. No. It's purple. purple and gold. And then we've got rose gold here and I'm going to do a blue. Why not? And again, downsize, but making sure that it's nice and stretched out and it's nice and round. So that's our clusters of four. And then I need a cluster of three. So I'm going to do silver, green and mauve. So that's three different colours that we haven't used yet. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to size these to three and a half inches. We tend to, with these particular designs, trim off the necks. So I'm just going to use some scissors for that. There's a clip on the end of there. Okay, so I've sized these ones to three and a half inches. Did I bring the bin back? No, I didn't. No, it's over there. I can see it. I shall use the bottom of this bag. Okay, and three and a half inches. Again, making sure that it's nice and around. There we go. And tie that in as a three. And... Zoink. Zoink indeed. Excellent. Okay. So we would just make a, a series of these and for this uh, hoop we would actually do uh, 18. 18. So this is the recipe. Yes. Four balloon cluster, size to four and a half inches. 18 of them. Three balloon cluster, size to three and a half inches. 18 of them. 18 of them. Yeah. Uh, for this size four. of hoop that we do in any yeah. way. However, when the hoop size change, 
these stay the same size, you just use less, less or more of them depending on what so you do. So the slightly smaller hoop that we've done is down at 15, um, 14 even, is 14. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's one of these things that you work it for your own hoops. Yeah, now, once you've got it, don't have to figure it out each time. Just write down, it's like, okay, the big hoop, it's... 17 or 18. So 17 worked out really easy. That worked yeah. perfect for us. 17 was happy. However, it's not a good number for a divisible number. Yeah. And you'll see shortly we're do, doing a pattern. Yeah. And that pattern needs to have the 18. So to squeeze an extra one in was easy. So we did it. <coughs> you know, Excuse me. Uh, if it was a single color, you could easily get away with 17. It wouldn't really matter. No. But as soon as you start to add patterns into the mix, you may want to change how many you've got in there as well. So, and there's also, there's nothing to stop you just slightly underinflating or overinflating to adjust how many is in that sequence. Yeah, where it needs to be a decent size difference between the two. Yeah, you do, you do the same for each. So if you're going to drop them down a little bit, you drop them down a little bit. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by tying this on. So I'm just going to tie a permanent knot. So I go through once, pull through, and then I go through a second time and go once and twice. And then tie that down. It means you can only ever tighten, it can't undo and I can trim that off because we don't need to see that. <laughs> I've got no cut scissors. No, them scissors have seen better days, Keith. Mm. And then from there, good when we got them. Just I'm not pushing it down, I'm just putting placing it on it's and quite I'm a doing lazy connection. Yeah, and I'm it? just doing a figure of eight up there, just round so that it's on there. And then you just keep on adding your four, your three, your four, your it's three. It's not getting overly worried about seeing gaps because yeah. if, if you see this here, it looks really good. But if you turn it round, because it's a three going onto a four, they're never going to sit perfectly. You are going to have yeah, gaps. Yeah, especially but that's on that side. That's okay. That's, that's part of it. Yes, it'll, it'll it's part come of it. right short. To give this a feeling of organic, because it's this isn't a what what people may consider as a true organic hoop but what it does is it allows us um, it's how we do a kind of a, a cheat organic yeah. it's a very fast way recipe driven easy to prepare and easy to build and yeah. multiple people can do the same designs yes and seem consistent but still have that organic feel and flair yeah, to and it the thing is is that if you have a uh, hoop like the design um, and then if you're going to do the big hoop and it wants to look the same, we're using the same techniques when we change the size. Well, here's some so. of the horror stories about people and how much time they're losing. And they know they're losing it of that they're on site, they've got the balloons inflated, they've, they've done extra and, and they're, they're just spending all this time trying to get it together, stand back, yeah. look at it, take a photo of it and try to finesse and fine tune it. And it's the build took X amount of time, but the fine tuning took double that. And so it's, it's fine. You know, if you are a balloon st stylist that can, you know, that does have the clients that can I find them uh, for that kind of budget to spend that much time on it Fantastic. that's absolutely fine but it's certainly it's not our kind of clients um, for the most part of things so what we need to do is find a better way plus we prefer things that are recipe driven as well that's that's more of our style um, so more consistent for the costing for yeah. us more consistent for the pricing and more consistent for our customer and, again, our, and our staff yeah you know, we're not saying it is the absolute way to go because some of the organic work out there incredible. is beautiful yeah. however it's at the higher end of the costings yeah, because it's, you've got that extra time it's, that you it's, have to charge for. It's not. It's it's also it's not it's not our kind of thing. It's, exactly. It's, it's not what we're known for. So right, okay. So um, that's one of the techniques used. Yeah. The other technique that we need to use um, also requires uh, it's two sets of three this it time. It is. This and this is again. There's a bit whoop. of flexibility on this one. And in if there's different colorways, you yes. can you can kind of have a bit of a play around with it. Uh, two sizes we're going to do on this one is two inch and two and a half inch. Yeah. Um, if you've got the older boxes, they don't have all the sizes on in the smaller ones. Um, definitely worth having, especially for designs like this, uh, the, the really smaller sizes. Yes. Because you can, with any of the precision equipment, do precision inflation. However, when you get down to the really small sizes, it, the, the sizing box for us gets the, the best results. Mm -hmm. So we'll use something like the uh, Premium Twin Sizer to inflate them just over what we need, but then we'll finesse and fine tune with a uh, little downsize and size and box size. So I've done a cluster of three that are sized to two and a half inches, and I'm now doing a cluster of three that are sized to two inches. And you can see that they're really small, but because I am pulling the balloon right down and inflating, it's shining out that top. The next I am going to trim off, but I'm going to leave one of them. So this is a three balloon cluster, so I'm going to leave one of those next and trim two of them. 
And you're doing the same. Yeah. And then we have a scrap of uh, a 160Q. Now, we use just a third of a 160Q for this. Ooh, there we go. So um, it means that you get, obviously you get three of them out of every every piece. So if you, are, if you don't have scraps left over to use, you can use a brand new 160Q, colour coordinated for what you need, but you chop it into three different parts. Could be a 260, it's just the fact that we do have all the sizes, so we use 160s wherever possible, so that it, it's slightly less expensive. Yeah. And it's, it's, a, uh, it's a minimal, it is a, there is a cost implication, so it does yeah. help us. Now, if you don't stock 160 cues and you've only got, and you've got all the colors in 260 cues, by all means, use a 260 cue. Also, as well as that, um, the other thing that we tend to use a lot of is diamond clear, um, when, rather than a color. Uh, it's just that it's easy for you guys it's to a, see when it, we use a, a color go, or a white in this case. It's a go-to neutral one that we can use for pretty much everything, so. Um, yeah, yep, they, they work well. So that's our. So you can see there, infills. It's the, yeah, they're the infills. So there's the two inches and two and a half inches, clusters of three, tied together on a piece of 160Q. And you can mix your colours depending on what pattern you're doing, but we tend to make sure that we don't, if we, let's say, had certain colour sequence, we wouldn't do all the little ones one colour and all the big ones another colour. No. We tend to kind of drop them over. So half of them in one colour ways would be on the small, and the other half of the same colour ways would be on the large. So we can mix it up. Again, you're trying to randomise that pattern yeah, yeah that can go uh, uh yes yeah we'll go short on the next one okay. you can randomize that pattern to make it feel more organic so it's a really good and easy way of doing it don't need a size and box anymore do we don't so need a size and box get rid anymore of that so we don't fall over it uh, and i'm hoping that we should be able to get away with that because what we're going next do need to do, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually i'm gonna hide that one just for the yeah. moment put it underneath there rather than me throw it away as well I yes <laughs> um because we've cre already created a series of uh, 18 like dom said uh, sometimes you've got to add an extra cluster in because of the the colorways that you're using and because we're using six different colors of chrome um what we need to do is to be divisible by six yes um and 18 which is the 18 of the larger ones um, is divisible by six or three. So what we have is on the larger ones, we have one, two, three of the blue. And then on the smaller ones, one, two, three of the blue. And then on the purple, one, two, three, and one, two, three, more of copper. So you can see green, it already silver. has that organic look to it. Yes. Not super organic. It's no. just sort of looks semi-organic it's kind of a bit of a jumbled alternate square pack at the yeah moment. but because of the four and the three it's sort of kicking off at different dimensions and, and the like yeah. so that helps make it look more organic yes uh, but it is recipe it's just what we've just done with the four balloon cluster and the three balloon cluster so it's the four and a half inches three and a half inches continued on as you were doing them with the dacon yep. and that's it you've at the end you've tied Alternate it off between the small which is a cluster of three and your large which is a cluster of four yeah and that's it that that's what's great about this as well that it can be done in different stages yes. so for us on this i do the inflation on this particular one so i've inflated these and i've inflated these and they go in a bag next step is to dacron them up that's a separate job keith came in and did that so we're handing off the jobs yeah so it's easy it's production line. no conversation was required keith knows what the sequence was picked up the balloons and did it that's it now the next step is to now add this into the hoop yes and anybody could come in and do this but to add a few more balloons to this after the after you've added it onto the hoop yeah. to fill in some of the, the key areas however most places we use them it's single-sided yes uh, and it's very little work to make it double-sided if you want to as well so what we're going to do is we haven't wrapped this because it's a nice white color but also uh, uh, we want you to be able to see where the hoop's going into the place as well otherwise we could potentially wrap part of it with blue part of it with purple and keep going around if you wanted to you know if you want to get it absolutely perfect yeah. alternatively we would probably go with a gray using 350 grays to, yeah. to wrap this but it, uh, it's not overly worrying about something yeah. because really it's the tiniest detail that for the level that we're selling this in at it, it doesn't need that yeah. extra level of work right okay so what we're going to do is i'm just going to start putting this in between the clusters and it's all i'm doing is i'm pushing it into the design we've got close in there so i'm just you can see i'm pushing it in between my clusters of two if you hold this yep, bit you can it. drop that bit right. and then i'm just pulling this up onto the design so i'm just pulling it into the hoop pulling it into the hoop and because these are really underinflated, you can be very rough with them because you don't have to worry the Qualitex. And we can pull them strongly into the design so that hoop gets itself 
in there. It's also not overly worrying about it as well because any yeah. little things can be sorted out at the end. You just want to get it onto the hoop first. Yep. Right. I'm going to go back out the camera That's so we we'll see. Okay. Pull on that. And now we're on to copper. So these are all seven inch chrome, Politex chrome balloons that have been inflated to the, remember the sizes? What were the sizes again, Dom? Four and a half inch for the four balloon cluster and three and a half inch for the three balloon cluster. Oh, well I know. You remembered. It's not that I don't remember, I just get tongue tied seeing it. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> right, okay, so as you can see, it's getting in there and it's coming in exactly in to the middle because we've made this before as you can tell and we remembered how many balloons it takes to fill this particular hoop and as you can see that fills it pretty much perfectly and already so you can see because you've got bits the camera of the, yeah. otherwise it looks like it looks like a bit of an oval if it's not straight on with yeah. our camera there but as you can see already because the balloons are in different ways and i've pulled them through it's pushing different areas out and it's already given the idea of of greatly different sizes yeah. um, and that more organic feel which is a really cool hoop before we even start, exactly. Or even, even just, if they add in any extra as, details, as it is, it looks great. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, and you can have a bit of fun with this. You know, there's there's loads of ways to dress these as mm -hmm. well. Um, but we're just going to try and cover the base model, if you like, to give you somewhere to step from. So, what are we going to do next, Dom? So, for the next step, we have what you created with the uh, five-inch golden rod. I did. Which have disappeared over that yes. way. We've done them slightly different for these ones. Because it's a chrome, it's a seven-inch chrome we're working, rather yes. than a five-inch balloon, they are a little bit harder to work with. So, the two sizes we did... On the smallest. Very small sizes, smaller yeah. Size. So, we can do... Um, what we would normally do is two and a half inches and two inches. So we've done these at two and a half inches. Yes. However, to go down to the two inches, it's just more labor intensive. It is. So for us, that's we've, we've drawn a line and said, you know what, that's too much work. The other option is using a seven inch chrome yes. and doing like a split duplet and creating yeah. one, two, three bubbles out of it. Totally possible. But again, there's more labor. So it's the, the level of labor versus the end selling point. Yes. So and does it, you know, is it so much better to do that? Does it look so much better for the amount of extra work that's going in there? That That's what we've got to think about. It's that's the, the balance. Yeah, it's yeah exactly. exactly. So it's, if it's, you were trying something, if you were doing something for a competition piece or whatever, it's different, right? It's no holds barred. But exactly. It, budget, on a retail budget piece. Budget and labor is not really going to come into piece. that. Yeah. So we've done a slight variant on what we've already done. So we've done the three balloon cluster, which is at to two and a half inches. Yes. And then the other side, to give it some idea of a difference of size, we've done two balloons instead of the three, yeah. but to the same size, the two and a half inches. Yeah. So, so a cluster of two and a cluster of three. But all to two and a half inches. And that's purely because a seven inch chrome is more labor intensive to get down to that small size. Yeah. So can you do it? Yes. Should you do it? If you feel you can get the money for it and you want to go that level, that extra mile, absolutely please. And share the photos because <coughs> we'd love to see them. Yep. However, for us, where the balance that's where we're happy. And what we're doing with this is that we're not mixing the colours up. We're going to keep our blues on um, on the blues. We're going to keep the purples on the purples, mauve, copper, gr uh, green and silver, just so that adds some more bulk to them areas. And again, it, en it enhances the organic feel of the ring. Now, if you were part of the Rockstar day, the set yes. of the scene, we did do a larger hoop on that day. We did. With a multicoloured random, random yeah. version of yeah. this which looks beautiful as well in which case you'd mix these up anywhere you want and we'd actually not do blue on blue we do mix of colors or perhaps blue then green whatever but if you are a rockstar get yourself over onto yeah. the rockstar day it was um it was fun we enjoyed it three yeah was it number three i think so yes it was if not watch it was one part two three first. <laughs> anyway it was part three it was the mermaids and weddings so we're gonna pick and we normally key in on the the larger ones uh, for certain yes. designs and we'll show you more of that on the next one however we've got a couple here to add in, so I'm just going to bring that through. Now it doesn't really need a lot of twisting in. However, because if it was going out into the public domain, we just bring it around something once at least to make sure that it's it's not got a chance of being taken out by accident if someone was to pick it up. Yep. But you're just going to use your, those ones as your key points and just keep adding in. Chuck that bag in the middle yeah, or something. Or just chuck them into the middle. Some that way. So we have the same sets in the same colour um, ways for each section. And at the moment, we're just chucking them on. Yeah, it, we're not bothered about where they're actually sitting because we're going to re, we're going to place them when we actually look at the hoop. You'll spend far too much time trying I'll to tell place. Tell you what, you them. do. Yeah, I'll, I'll see I'll it. Do Let me put the, get the rest of those. 
Um, yeah, you spend too much time trying to fix something and then really, actually when you stand back from it, you'll find that um, it needs to be changed anyway. Yes, so for this one, we are literally just throwing them in there and then we'll deal with them later. If I can see a gap, though, I will put it in there just as, even just to start off with. Yeah, well, it's a good place to start because it's easy to put in. Yeah. We'll and then the you're going to do a green and the silver. Is there one more silver? Yeah, it's on the floor. It's escaped. I've Again. had one of them come off on my hand. This is geared up to be a, a, the single-sided design, so everything of the add-in ones are forward-facing, so it's on that front side and towards the edges rather than anything going to round the back. Because these are in solid blocks, we haven't needed to add so many of these in, no. whereas what we'd normally do is one set per large four balloon cluster. Yes. So for this one's an 18, so if it was a multicoloured design, we'd be doing 18 sets of these. Uh, but again, because the chrome is a little bit harder to work out in the smaller sizes, we felt that actually just adding in two sets per colour gave us enough of the um, additional extras to not warrant having to do any more. Look at that. But you, but you can see there that just adding in a few of those extra ones, and if you want to, like Tom said, you know, just increase them or increase the size or, or you know put your flare onto it to uh, increase that organicness um, of this hoop but it's really cool I, yeah. I like that. but that's a really lazy way of doing organic but it's, with a yeah. really good solid end result yeah if perfect. we do say so ourselves yeah we really like it yes well you there were hopeful i was very hopeful look at that there we go uh, and if you I, blow them up by mouth as well you could try circular breathing oh. No, oh it's not good, it's not good and as you said earlier as well uh, watching out for I don't know if you did say it as well on to qualtex.com and social media as mm, well we'll I be didn't. sharing some end uh, finished pictures of these as well yes um, we will we'll be taking photographs and we'll be putting them out there on our own social media um, and also on the, the will eventually end up on qualitex.com because well, you can't go wrong with qualitex.com qualitex as we said com. on happy hour last night uh, right. right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to change up the colours instead of using uh, the chrome. Oh, actually, leave that one first, and we go back oh, to this bit. No, this particular one. This one. This one. This one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Let me move that over then. Yes, I'm with you. Right. Ready. Just going to move yeah. that one. Leave that one in the front for the moment. Uh, so yeah. So this is a monochromatic um, version in the fact that we've got Caribbean blue, pale blue, robin's egg blue, and dark blue, all done in five inch. Um, on the hoop and it's really it gives you an idea of like an under under it, the water thing. so this one's exactly the same recipe yeah all barring uh, where we dropped it a little bit on the last one we've added in the two inch ones as well so you've got that cluster of three let me bring it out so you can see it that's a cluster of three balloons with the three yeah. balloons in there and they are all sized to two inches and that's matched up with its counterpart and that one is sized to two and a half inches and we've got a set of those for every set of the larger yeah so every carbon. set of four yeah. yeah so every the your larger ones which are sets of four right um, every one of those larger ones yeah we've so got. however many of those you do yeah. you're doing the same amount of sets and we bring one in on each of those as you go around and where it lands is where it lands and then you just finesse it very quickly then and because they attach with that 160q it's very easy just to just move, move wherever, it around yeah. It's no fuss, it's no drama, it's just really easy to, to fix. Yeah. Uh, very easy to transport, and if there's anything moves, it's dead easy to fix. And right. because it's recipe, we can easy fix stuff. Yeah, yeah, so if a balloon goes down, yeah. it's, it's dead it's, easy. It's no problem. So well, let's go back over onto there, and we'll bring over the next one. I'll get this one out of the way for the moment. I'll set that over there. Which one are we going This for? one. Yeah. Um, this is, we've changed the colours up. It's my new favourite. You want to grab that one? <laughs> it's your new favourite. Yeah. Uh, oh. So this is a white hoop, uh, which it's, is slightly smaller. It's the next it's, size it's down. All white. Um, which is only 14 sets rather than the 18 that we've used on the chrome. Um, and then we've used different colours. So we've we've actually kept it with with colour harmonies. Uh, so it's actually got a triadic, so kind of. Um, we've got the yellow, like on this one, we've got yellow, blue, and pink for one colour harmony and on the other one we have the spring lilac lime green and orange to give you the other colour. So where harmony. did we get those colours from? Why did we side on that set? It's the well we got them actually from 
a balloon. We did. We've got one there and one there. So yeah. We'll so one. One there. Uh, yeah. One. So we got it from an 18-inch uh, Happy Birthday foil, which has um, dots on there. You're gonna do a basic in. zoom in. There we go. So it has uh, like polka dots or confetti dots on there in all the different colours and we chose these colours and then we put them together in that way. So it means that what we can do is we can take a design like this and then add this into the bottom of the design um, or have it hanging so that it spins. There's, there's lots of different things. So many options and it's the fact that now because we picked up the design cues from the Qualitex foil, yeah. we can now use that to help us coordinate our design and actually sort of expand it out into you know other areas uh, using those colours, using the message from there, but adding you know more value to the customer and, and fundamentally more, that one? more things for us to be able to offer and sell. Yeah, because the other thing that we can do um, is we can also fit inside of this particular one a uh, bubble. Now this is the Welcome Baby Boho uh, rainbows. So this is not the right colourways for this. Uh, it's similar. It's not bad. It's not yeah. Bad. So, I mean, we've got options to change it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but we're using the design cue for whatever it is we're, we're going with. Yeah. And the bubble fits perfectly. I mean, that's uh, that's not being held at all by oh, any of us. It's, it's just, just in there because it's pressure fitted at the moment. So it's perfect for. It doesn't really need any fixing at all. But you could, if you wanted to, use something like some glue dots. Yeah. Uh, or some. Uh, or tie 260 on the bottom. Yeah. I think that would be our go-to on yeah. this one is 260 into the bottom and then that would be enough. Also as well as if you want your message to stand out a little bit more, I would definitely recommend take, cutting the valve out of your 22 inch message bubble and double stuffing it with a 16 inch white. Yeah. 16 inch latex into there. So very carefully take that valve off as close to the valve as possible to give you as much neck as you can work with. Mm -hmm. Slide in that 16 inch, make sure there's no air between the two balloons and then just inflate your 16 inch latex. That in turn will inflate your bubble and will give you that um, sort of the opacity yeah. to then make that design, the print on that bubble really stand out. So, um, so yeah. The next thing that we're going to do on here is actually take these off. Yeah. So these again as the Caribbean blue one though is we've got one set of these yeah. which is the small one and the large one per large four balloon cluster. Yeah. So, we, so we're going to take them off. We've not wrapped these in, so yeah. we can take them out. However, it doesn't mean that we won't end up wrapping them in while we're trying to take them out. That's exactly So I am it. prepared to use a pair of scissors. Don't use a pair of scissors because we need to put it back together for a photograph. Well, we might be using scissors on this one, Keith, because this one is glued in. So I'll is come this. back to that one. So yeah. is this one. We, I did say we might be using scissors. Let me put them in this bag, though. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Shows you that you don't really need to wrap them in, Keith, because um, yeah, I know how well, how well. Once you've just chucked them in, they seem to go. I know. I was like, I, I, I know that when we put these in, we said don't wrap them in because we'll be taking them out during the show. Let's turn it around. That one that I've given right, up on. I'll, uh, I've walked away from it. <laughs> I'll fix this one. Well, I fear that I wrapped it in rather than taking it out. You did. However. Ha ha! Uh, there we go. Right, you said you got a bag for them. Yep. Great. Put them into there. So the reason we take them out here is to show you that this base model of the white one is really universal. We can do a lot with it. Yeah. So that was a great, fantastic, happy birthday so, one. So uh, there we go back to our beginning hoop design under there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add on this next design. You're going to just put it in the middle. And we've got... We're going to go with a baby theme. So for this, we've got some um, pink, five inch pink, sized again to two inches and two and a half inches, tied together with a piece of 160Q, which we're going to add into there. And we've got enough of these to do one per the section. So where Keith started there, I'm going to we'll move that around a little bit. And I'm going to go from there. Yeah. Now, because we're doing pink and blue, they don't have to stay on the bands. They can sort of go offset. You know, we're using that as the way we're going to join them in, but it doesn't mean you can't move them over a little bit. Yeah. So what we're doing is alternating between the pink and the blue, or if you prefer, the blue and the pink. And I'm just going to flip it all the way over on there. Go for it. So you oh, on that one. I'm pink, I need to miss that one. I need to go back with the pink. But because we're just lining up with the... Um, the large ones, it's really easy to keep, keep your, 
your pattern going, but make it still look very organic. Mm -hmm. So I'm blue, so that one's going to be pink. And because we've done an even number, we said it was 14, because of the larger, 14 of the smaller, that means that um, it also has, uh, it's, it's an even number, so it means that it alternates all the way around. So it's in the bag. And see how easy and quickly you can just work your way around, mm -hmm. just get them to sit to into a, a rough, uh, rough placement. There we go. Just not, it just wasn't sitting on the hoop properly, so. Might have had something to do with the fact that we pulled all those other balloons. Off. Maybe, maybe. You never know. Okay. Excellent. Let's so, just quick check. Everything's looking pretty good. Obviously, you guys can spend a little bit more time on it than we do. Great stuff. Again, we'll take some photos and share those. Yeah. So now we have our pink and blue, or blue and pink. So it's yes. really good for adding in the he or she, what will it be, or um, well, say for instance. There's actually quite a few good options. Yeah, I mean, one. if you want to go for all of the, if you change it for all of pink, or pink instead of the blue, have gold, we could have with the on your communion. That's right, so that with that, pink, the, keeping the pink five inch, yeah. but switching the blue out to be like the chrome gold, yes. that would look lovely. Yeah, that's a great idea. Then vice versa, chrome gold, but with the blue. Yeah. And uh, for the nice communion foil on there. Um, oh, what else as well that we, we have to do the, on there? Uh, we, I don't think oh, we, yes. Uh, here. Do we have them? We have two things. So we, for a gender reveal. So if we put a 16 inch balloon in the middle of there, and then have that with confetti in, it's yep. a really fantastic gender reveal. Now you can do these hoops as well, and we've done it in the past, where you take something like the knot lamp, but now it would be the bar last, yep. um, and you do a short height of that, and then you attach this hoop onto the top of it. Uh, so we need a little bit of... Um, or we also on our well, the one where you did the where we did the table display. Yeah, the table one would be perfect for that as well, depending on what the customer's needs are. Mm -hmm. But it's a great way to have this hoop, but it's supported, so it's got a base and can it can be just stood up rather than hung up. Because yeah. we appreciate that not everyone can have one of these designs that's hangable. Um, although quite a lot of people are quite happy to sort of hold these, so they'll have yeah. family members hold them, so they're presented, be in the photo, be in the video, and then the couples at the the front and they do the poppage and stuff. Yeah. There's loads of fun ways of making it interactive, um, so that's great. If you have the larger, if you use the larger hoop, uh, there's nothing stopping you as well. Filling the entire space with a three foot um, with the question marks as yeah. well, and then so you can have that fully in there, or um, doing a bubble version with yeah. the uh, holy powder, uh, which is one of the things that we do some, from time to time. Yeah, lots of versions, and again, it's yeah. that base model of something that you can work with. You can add any of the 14 inch foil in there as well. Yes, a great way of adding. Uh, coordinating decor into these particular designs so you can really it's almost like a, a circular marquee yeah the, the, there's the four the 14 inch ones but they also as well there's really small cutesy ones you know yeah, the four, the four inch, inch nine inch foil yeah there. yeah they go in there yeah, and, and, and you know think about all the things that you've done with the marquee style designs yeah uh, you know we had the fabulous one we've had loads of fun with with the zoe's um the other columns there yeah marquee column brilliant um, the this same rules, hoop. the same ideas can be applied to this as well. So it's a great mm. way of adding that that level of um, design flair into something. But marquee that, hoop, it's got a ring yeah, to it. Yeah, it has got a ring to it. Yeah. But, um, right, okay, so okay. we've got one last thing that we, we have, want yeah. to do. Want to show the inspiration for our last one? My favourite inspiration. Hum, hum, I hum. do not believe that. <laughs> Someone has taken a bite out of this, key. Well, it's hungry work making balloons. It is. So what we did was, is that we actually took a basic pink version of... I'll swap, please. There we go. The, uh, we did a basic pink version of the hoop, uh, which it could have been rose, but we chose pink. Um, this one didn't matter how many went round it, yeah. because it's a single colour and there's no additional pattern that we're adding into it of any sort of worthiness so we didn't worry about how many goes on this hoop um quite easy to do and then we just took some 260 cues of the colors which match in with the donut 
and we have put them on there with some uh, balloon sticky dots. Do you have any 260 Qs? Is that one over there? That, I can that is a 260 Q over there. Let me borrow it. Yep. Yeah, this is only a part of a 260 Q, but that will do us. Because when we when we do this particular technique as well, we'll use all the all the parts. We can make multiples. Each one of these is made. It's like I think one 260 Q makes three of these um, parts. So I'm just going to tie that 260 Q off. I'm going to inflate it, and the way we did this is we had um, on our sizing template for uh, the counter it has some marks and we just used two of them as a reference yep. and it could be a ruler it could be two marks and a bit of paper it doesn't matter it doesn't, matter. It doesn't it even be, matter it could be a hole in the sizing box yeah it doesn't matter the actual dimensions it's just the fact that we're fairly consistent and yes. the fact that we've, we've sized them up so inflate the balloon tie it off then with our two marks wherever they are we just size accordingly so we have that and then because we want to use the rest of this balloon, we don't cut it up here. What we're going to do is give ourselves enough to tie and just do a little squeeze there and then use a scissors, um, a quick cutter, whichever. You can let that go. Get a hold of where you've twisted it and then let go of that. And now... And then you're because, going to tie and you've got I, high shine. I've got high shine on my fingers. Uh, I saw that. And I'm going to attempt to tie this. <laughs> with my you let us there we go. Are you got it? Yeah. Okay. So then now we make sure that knot's really, really pushed in. Okay. So I'm putting some pressure on the knot and pulling the tail part. Do the same on the other end. Then we can, with confidence, cut and trim off nice and neat. So there's very little left on the end. And then I've got a couple of uh, balloon sticky dots here, and I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to try and avoid the places that don't put high shine <laughs> all totally... over. Uh, we've got one under there, or I know, I know. Yeah, I love high shine. It's just one of those jobs you do right at the end. Yeah, that's all. Um, we're going to be doing a little video on high shine actually uh, coming up in the not too distant future. Yeah. Uh, a short video on how we do high shine, and it might be the same as how you do it. Yeah. What might so not we, be? We have seen two, three different versions of it. Not that one's right or wrong, it's just we're going to share what we do. So we've got our two balloon sticky dots on there and I'm just going to chuck it on the back for it. But that means I can just place it where I want to and it's stuck instantly and then we just keep on now, adding all the way through. Now, this particular one, I don't know if you brought the balloon through. You did, you did. did I? Yeah. Well, I did, yeah. So, yeah. I did. so this one... Because I'm good. The pallet that is from... Oh, the donut. The donut and also from this... Happy birthday 18 inch balloon as well. The sprinkle colours uh, are on here are the colours that we've put onto this particular one as well. So you can go with whatever you want, but because we're coordinating it with these products, we've picked these colours. Mm -hmm. Now, when you put these onto here, you did a colour sequence just to make it not look so heavy. Yeah, so um, I didn't end up with a lot of the same in the same areas, basically. And if you look at the pattern on here, if you just if you just eye in on one colour, you can see the wild berry, you can see that it's very evenly, just nicely spread out on there. You follow each of the colours through, and you can see yeah. they're fairly evenly distributed. And that's all we've done on there. And you can put more on there, less on there. It's as much as and less uh, yeah. detail as you, as you want to do. And if it's only going to last a short time, you can put 160s on there yeah. um, too. So Exactly. So the 260Qs are, have a bit more longevity to it. Yeah. However, the 160Qs are kind of cool. And mixing them up would be pretty cool as well. Because actually, if you look at the design, yeah. they've got thinner ones and thicker ones. So, so um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Hundreds and thousands, as we would call them. <laughs> hundreds and thousands. That's right. So uh, mm. if we hold this up, can we go over to We there? can and even go there. And you can see... Oh, we need to go out on there. Okay. Done. Too do much to see. Too much. Too much. So Love that one. We've got, yeah, we've got our baby design. We've got, which was also our um, spring um, round sprinkle design. That's right. As so well. this was our, yeah, our, our yeah. sort of uh, tutti frutti sprinkle design. Yeah, we've got and our baby, our lovely chrome design, and everything about yeah. it. So and it's all the same recipe. Yes. They look all very different. Yeah. However. It's following the same process of the four balloon cluster and the three balloon cluster, which are sized to four and a half inches and three and a half inches respectively. Then the add-ins, the infills. Yeah, two inches and two and a half inches. Great. So easy. Nice yeah. and simple. And you've also got enough room for flexibility as well. You can change it depending on the colour sequence. You can change how many fit on the ring. You've got a lot of options there. Okay, so that is about all the time that we have for today. So if you did enjoy what you I saw, did. please drop us a like um, on the video. We re really helps us with uh, all of the algorithms and things uh, and our statistics. So and if you do make it, 
Share your pictures. Yes. I was going to say picture poor photos <laughs> that, I, that went with peer photos. Okay. Share, yeah, share your pictures <laughs> with us. Just tag us in at uh, hashtag Q Corner. Um, uh, sorry, hashtag Q Corner Show is what you should be ta tagging us in with. Yes. Um, and we will see you in two weeks, two time. weeks time for Part doing two. all of this again. Well, and a few different things on the largest scale. With less hoop puns. More hoop puns. <laughs> Till the next time. Bye-bye for now. Ciao.